Hey everybody, um, welcome back to Foil Labs. Um, it's been an interesting couple of days. We've had uh, our spring weather coming in and uh, the weekend has passed. We had a lot of people foiling and my driveway is full up with two more boards to fix. And um, there's a couple of other issues that I wanted to cover on this particular video. And really this comes down to understanding the, the bolts and the threads and the fastenings that hold all of this um, componentry together that we know is under a huge amount of, of pressure and stress and strain. So just come a little bit closer here. So today we're going to talk about the bolts and the threads and things called helicoils. We're going to be talking about SS which means stainless steel and in this, this particular case the fast things that we use are 316 stainless steel hence 316 stainless steel. There is another grade of stainless steel which is a medical grade of stainless steel which is much um, more, um, it doesn't corrode as much. We're talking about M6 which is metric 6mm bolts which are or the fastenings that we use. Um, but this whole video is really to do, to, uh, uh, we're going to talk about what we call galvanic corrosion and that's because if we don't maintain our equipment and take it apart and clean it with fresh water and put a lubricant on it to protect the componentry from galvanic corrosion, then you're going to end up with long-term long sort of problems and a failure of equipment. Failure meaning that it could be that because you've never taken it apart, you never washed it, never lubricated it, there will come a point when you're out on the water under a huge amount of strain and snap. You have a catastrophic failure and $3,000, $4,000 worth of foil drops to the bottom of the ocean and you'll never see it again. So when we purchase this gear, this is really important, especially for new juniors learning to put their own equipment together. Um, so we're talking about galvanic corrosion and in a technical term it's the, it's really an electrochemical process whereby one metal cor um, corrodes in preference to another. So what we have, we have stainless steel, we have carbon fibre and we have aluminium which we know is anodized. But when you put dissimilar metals into a um, an electrolyte, and in this case our electrolyte is salt water, then the less noble metal will start to corrode. And that's why when we look at our, in this case, this is a, a, um, an IQ race fuselage. And we can, always, we, can, we can all start to see through the anodizing here, which protects the aluminium, just a white coating. And in particular, down in these areas, particularly around the corners, a whitish corrosion that happens because the aluminium is the less noble metal and if you put carbon fiber in here or stainless steel when it's in salt water the least noble metal which is the aluminium will corrode it will start to basically um, eat itself away so i just want also to have a look um, on, a, on a separate subject but it's still to do with fastenings is if you come very very close here here is what I call the cylindrical pocket nuts, which hold in place our masts into the um, tuttle box. Now I've, I've um, hacksaw, hacksawed this one in half. And the reason why I've done that, this one here is a silicon bronze one, which I made, but we can see just through sheer pressure and um, force that the thread in this cylindrical pocket nut has really been compromised. It's sort of really started to deteriorate and corrode um, away under the pressure. But let's look over here on the bench. And in particular now, I just want to talk about the, when you put the fuselage, so this is about caring of your equipment. This is my IQ mast, and we'll use my fuselage, and it has a plastic skirt, and that plastic skirt has been put in place because it forms a barrier between the aluminium fuselage 
and the carbon fiber and the stainless steel and so starboard have made this skirt that's put in place which is accurately made to form a barrier between the dissimilar metals to counter the the galvanic corrosion it, with mine i'm even pulling this off and i check it i check these stainless steel cylindrical pocket nuts for corrosion and i keep it washed and i keep it really really well lubricated these are my fastenings here and when we pull you can see these already have which i have here this is a marine grease that i use and you can buy specialist um really specialist uh, marine grease this is a marine grease marine being that it, it doesn't break down in salt water but i use these little sticks and i come in and i will put a little bit of grease back down in these holes which also creates a barrier the grease itself creates a barrier between the dissimilar uh, stainless steel the carbon fiber and the aluminium it helps to protect it so my fastenings are always clean they're always well lubricated um so that's one thing to consist constantly check i put my skirt on and with my fuselage here i will bring this over and you can imagine this is already in the board and everything should slip together nicely it should be a nice tight fit all right and if your threads are well greased when you put this together and you slot it in the hole and you get your specialist um, tool to do it it should screw together really nice and easy again this one dropped in place and it just screws up nicely no no forcing and here we go with another one i'll just do these three for now just to give you an idea the important thing is not to over tighten these as well some people really crank these up you can put your finger underneath here and feel the fuselage being pulled down onto the top of the mast and i'll do this one up and then i'll come to the front i call this the toe this is the heel of the foot so i'm gradually working it down piece by piece so that the the fuselage goes onto the mast nice and square not on an oblique angle and i will just nip these up just snug not over tight we do not want these over tight and also you can imagine on a really hot sunny day um, aluminium absorbs heat really well it expands if you really tighten these up a huge amount and you put it out in the sun the aluminium heats up and all of a sudden you can't get this out you end up stripping the top and consequently you have to get a technician like myself to get a drill and send a pop the top of the fastening drill off the top of the fastening and remove the the the, the fastening from the from the carbon so making sure you pull your equipment apart and clean it is super important the other thing that you're mitigating by doing this is what we call cross threading and a lot of juniors who um, have their first uh, buy their first equipment they're exposed to these technical terms like what's cross threading um, imagine if this was dry and no lubrication and the fuselage was not sitting square onto the mast and the fastening goes in on an angle on an oblique angle and it starts to cut itself a new thread which is incorrect and it's called cross threading and we know it's cross threading re threaded because a junior will come up to us and go oh man it went on really easy before but now it's really hard what's wrong and i immediately you think oh no it's cross threaded as soon as it's cross threaded you've got to replace the pieces 
and, and get it right. And you know, that's what's so important about these cylindrical pocket nuts is, you know, these can become uh, cross-threaded and you've got to change them. So understanding cross-threading is super important. Um, the other thing that I wanted to, I'll just lift this up here. This is a shorter fuselage being brought in by one of our wind foilers. And in this particular case, um, and I would suspect again, perhaps because of no lubrication, um, when Starboard produce these fuselages, and it could be with other brands also, again to mitigate um, corrosion and to strengthen the aluminium. Aluminium is not a strong metal to cut a thread into. So Starboard use a process uh, where, which is called a helicoil, and a helicoil is exactly one of these little things here. And a helicoil is a stainless steel insert that uh, where a hole is drilled into the soft aluminium, a thread is tapped using a, uh, this is a, 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 a thread tap, such as this, in this, um, in this handy little holder. The thread is cut into the stock and then using um, another tool, the helicoil is wound into the new hole. Now the helicoil, the stainless steel helicoil provides the mechanical um, strength between the stainless steel fastening and the aluminium stock and it remains in there. But in this particular case, because of maybe lack of lubrication and cleaning gear, or even over tightening, the helicoil has become broken and compromised. And therefore, um, this, is, this is basically, it, the only thing you could really do with this particular hole is either drill it out to a larger size, which you, I don't think you can do. I, going to an M8 or an M7 hole would be too much. Or, you could get a engineer to aluminium weld the hole up, machine it off, send a pot, re-drill the new hole and re-tap a new helicoil into it. So this is one of the issues that uh, you can avoid by keeping your gear nice and clean. And I think on the other end here, we can see another example. And in this particular case, you can see a little bit of corrosion in here. And this helicoil is also being compromised. So, um, some of the things on the bench here um, are uh, two die sets to cut threads. These are the engineering tools that we use to fix all of this equipment. Um, a helicoil set, um, the marine grease, which is super important. Um, and um, so, for me, this video is important to for people to understand that when you spend such a lot of money on your equipment, that doesn't um, it doesn't uh, you have to learn to look after and understand your equipment. So these fastenings, these cylindrical pocket nuts, the dissimilar metals, and the understanding of the galvanic reaction that happens here um, should be constantly telling you that clean your equipment make sure you put some marine grease on and be aware that you don't cross thread uh, the the stainless steel fastenings because you don't want to end up having a catastrophic failure uh, where your beautiful foils end up um, at the bottom of the ocean so there's just a little bit about care and attention of of uh, the fastenings and some of the things that we have to do to to fix this so um thanks for watching bye